Welcome back to the channel, Internet. Time to move along with part two of our series of the mountain bike trails along the Cape Fear River. So go ahead and grab yourself a snack, set back, and enjoy the ride. So many times, you can go either way on this one. Many, many times, uh, and we're way up high on a ravine. I'm wondering how we're going to go across that where this is going to end up at. And there's another trail come in that way. spider webs. Most of the time here, I don't know, we may have to break into the control unit on this. That would be an interesting video anyway. And reset that a little bit. Most of the time there's no power coming in from the motor, even though I'm on pedal assist too. Uh, but you don't want it coming in at an inopportune time. And the reason for that is the speed that's set up. We're typically above that speed unless we start climbing up a hill. Uh, but you don't want to slow down for a corner and then hit it without a finger on the brake levers so that you uh, can cut that power out because it's not always real good to have it in here. I would be really, really interested in some of these really dedicated mountain bike, uh, e-mountain bikes, and see how their power comes on. Because something like this is set right now is, is not, not the best for doing it. Now that doesn't mean we can't change this up, but I do like this as my Greenway bike. Who knows? Maybe we're going to be talking about another bike, another bike necessary, just to dedicate to the off-road single track. But don't tell my wife this. I don't think she's ready to hear it just yet. <laughs> now, these trails on this side are a lot easier. A lot less technical, a lot less roots, a lot less sharp turns, uh, ravines. You know, much, much easier to do, that's for sure. But I will say I've, I've rode oh, a decent amount of single track uh, since I started riding bikes. And these are probably by far the best single track if you're looking for kind of more technical type riding. These are really you know, you're almost encouraged to stand up the entire way. If I had a dropper post on that seat, it'd be down most all the way here. Because as you're coming over things like these roots, you want to be up and let the bike move underneath of you a little bit. Not just be absorbing all of that because it can get you bouncing around there a little bit. 
probably would have helped when I kind of shoulder blocked that tree to uh, be up on top of the pegs instead of setting down being lazy. how these trails translate to some of the off-road competitions as far as technicalities and things. I kind of pictured a lot of the off-road competitions are like them trails that I just went over right there. You know, graveled. Most of these have not been. kind of see where we're at with the camera here. Got a little bit more left. We'll go ahead and go with it, but when we change the battery out, what we'll do is take off the wind sock because we're not running into a lot of wind here. We're not going so fast that we need a wind sock. Yeah, if this camera was attached to my body mount, it would be terrible footage because I'm up and down and back and forward when we get into this, some of these things here. And now would be a good time to change that battery so that I can grab that spider. It's crawling right up in front of my eyes onto my helmet. So we'll kind of bid him adieu and change the battery out. We didn't leave yet. There you go. Okay, we changed the battery. Found a, I got this uh, top tube bag mounted here. I found a flaw with that. And that is, if you don't close it, you'll lose things out of it. So I lost one of my USB to C charging cables. That's just for charging up my phone and stuff when we're out. <laughs> when I put my body cam mount on, I kind of uh, left that thing open and I just left the body, I was planning on putting it back, but I left my body cam on the mount for it. 
So, lesson learned. Close these things up as soon as you open them, Blaine. Kind of like you should know that, you know. You always, anytime you open the gate, you made sure you closed it immediately. Same thing. Same thing, Blaine. So we got the spiders out of the helmet. Got a fresh battery. We did take off the wind sock because we're not going fast enough to deal with much wind on this. But these are really nice, fun, technical trails. I can tell you that much. So with that being said, Internet, we are going to end part two right here. But don't worry, there's still more to come. But until we get there, hey, stay safe, God bless, and keep them wheels rolling. Once again, I'm out.